case study of New Tourism New Zealand website. One thing that I noticed that's interesting is they had something in, in Cambridge 12 about agriculture synthesis of an online debate. So, and, and now they're doing something about a website in, in Cambridge 13. It might be that they're doing more and more articles about the internet and things that they find on the internet, uh, which means you should probably learn a bit of internet vocabulary. You, you probably know a lot of internet vocabulary, but it will be useful for IELTS, definitely for reading and for listening. So, for example, I've just highlighted the internet vocabulary uh, in this passage. So you probably know a lot of these words, but they're worth going through and uh, making sure that you know all of this sort of internet vocabulary. Be careful though, if you search for internet vocabulary on the, on the internet, you can get these massive lists that get very, very technical, uh, and those are intended for computer science people, so don't learn massive lists. It's just the things that users need. Website, database, oops, not bed, web, Presence, site for website, features, interactive, bookmark, click, links, register, save, print, blog, online, search. A lot of it is the things that you can do on the internet, these verbs, search, print, save, register, click, bookmark, a lot of verbs. All right, so just an idea, learn some internet vocabulary. Let's get started. Let's see what um, we've got. As usual, it's very common for um, passage one. We've got gap fill and true false not given. So we need to scan. What will you scan for? Take a look at this. I would I would find all of these first. These are headings, uh, and they will show you where all of these answers are. So your first step is to scan for all of all of those. Maybe pause the video. I'm not going to go th through them. I'll just leave you to scan for it. All right. So. The, that's what I found. A couple of notes on that. Um, probably would have been a good idea to start with these. Find these first. They were easy. They had capital letters, inverted commas. Um, I didn't find local topics. It's not really there as far as I can see, but they did have features. Okay, next step is look at some grammar. Is there anything that can help us? Allowed businesses to what? So what kind of word is this going to be? Remember, this is an infinitive. So this is going to be a verb, but it's going to be the basic form of the verb, the V1 form, like to make or whatever. This is a noun, but we don't know if it's plural, single, countable, uncountable, can be anything. This will be a noun as well. It's a singular noun, please notice that helps us. So we're looking for only a single singular noun there. This will be plural or uncountable, it won't be single. This can be anything. Again, plural or uncountable won't be single. And that can be anything. The or there in front means it can be anything. <clears throat> All right, so not really a lot of help from the grammar, but a little bit. So what are we looking for? This, this database allowed businesses to something information regularly. That paragraph actually has this word a lot, so we won't scan for that. I would scan for these two things, information and regularly. They will paraphrase, but the paraphrase is not too, too bad. So, scan for information and regularly. And there is regularly. So, where's information? Can you see where's information? There's the information. So, we're looking for to something. We're looking for an infinitive. And I'm sure you can see it somewhere in there. To what? to update. It's only possible to have the V1 form of the verb. So that wasn't too bad. Countrywide. Evaluation, they can paraphrase. Impact. Nothing very strong, but let's see if we can find countrywide and impact. Impact on the. Now remember features is in the next paragraph. Features was over here. So we're going to be somewhere there. So can you see anything about countrywide or impact? There's something about a country and national standards. And can you see impact? There's impact. Impact on what? On the? And I think that's quite straightforward as well. On the environment. All right. So 
special features for example sometimes the for example is there sometimes it's not I think this is the main clue a former sports something uh, and just read it and see what it is an interview with so you can only interview a person you can't interview a tree or a dog or a table or anything so we're looking for something that describes a person there's our word interview there's with but that's who they interviewed that whole phrase former New Zealand All Blacks rugby captain there's the this is rugby is a type of sport so that's our synonym for sport we're only allowed one word which word do you keep you keep that one this whole noun phrase here is just these are all like adjectives behaving like adjectives so you can throw them away keep only that one yeah former was there and interactive tour various locations used in interactive journey various locations used in chosen for fun blockbuster films so you only keep the noun throw away the adjective I'm going quite quickly through these because I've gone through Cambridge 12 and 11. So if this is your first time, you're starting with 13. Uh, sorry if I'm going quickly, but I've covered all of these strategies a lot in Cambridge 12 and 11. So I don't want to repeat myself too much. Right, the driving routes, they varied. This is a very nice IELTS word. They changed. They were different depending on the what. Where's driving routes? And we want something about varied. And there's vary the different routes depending on according to the the really straightforward if you find the um, scanning words then that should be quite straightforward they gave us a lot of help with these little um, helping words on either side travel planner included a map details and local so there's three things in a little list here a map details of public transport and local something let's see so there's the travel planner gave us details of public transport there's the map there's the public transport and local find local so that's local this is quite an important word you should notice these also because they give us lists so there's map one, public transport two, and also I think the key to this was to find that. That's the synonym for local. So what was local? The accommodation was local. And last one, send a link to there. Could be single, plural, could be anything. Let's just find your words. The travelers could send a link to there what? So it's somewhere here. That's the only sentence. Submit a blog of their travels for possible inclusion on the website mm. so many students will see there and then they will choose that and i can see why you did that but if you think about the meaning how can you send a link to your travels you can't send a link to your travels what else can you send a link to there's only one other word here the travelers could and could send a link to their what submit a blog so i think that word is that's the one that helped you there it's quite difficult vocabulary i think for some of you but that's the only possibility that it could be because you can't send send a link to your travels you send a link to your blog all right not too bad um i think well, what was important here really it was the scanning language um, there were a couple of tricks that was a trick that was a possible trick because th that word was over there but that's the wrong sentence if you're there you need to be over here because you scan for your words so not too bad really I think you can get all of those if you're careful right let's move on okay so let's take a look at these um, I want to just do the circle words first you can do the circle words first or the scanning first at step one and two or two and one up to you 
But let's just do the circle words first. If you don't know what I mean by circle words, then go and take a look at my True False Not Given video that will explain it. The idea is that we identify the target language that IELTS will base the question on. And then we identify the scanning language. So we don't have to compare too much. We just find what question IELTS is asking. So pause the video and see what words you would circle. And those are the words that I would circle. Here they go for the adjective. Often in true, false, not given, they, they, they target the adjective. This one, uh, I thought most, they really love to compare the most and many, as you will have seen if you've done 11 and 12. This one was difficult. Students will think that they change this, but I've never seen them change these numbers. Anyway, I did a quick scan. And I saw the number over there, so they're not going to change the number. I think they're going to change this. It's not common, it's a noun. This one, uh, well, there was nothing really. It was basically, do they like or do they not like? It's in on the verb. And this one, comparing smaller hotels, larger hotels, these adjectives again, and this, the adverb. Is it likely or unlikely? Right, now, the big trick here was students go and scan for that and then they go all the way up there and find it there and that is unfortunately the wrong thing to do if you did that you would have wasted a lot of time they did it on purpose remember that the gap fill ended here so it's probably going to start here with the true false not given i say probably because of course, they can go back and start somewhere up here with the true false not given. But usually, they will just continue on to the next section. But please don't. I didn't say always. Usually. Especially reading one, it will be a bit easier. So actually here is the website. Or maybe even here is the website. Is where they're starting with this. Find that. That's quite easy to find. Um, geographical location maybe we can find it will be between that and all of this quick scan shows us that geographical location is there local culture it will be somewhere after here the cultural activities I won't highlight it but it's somewhere there small hotels large hotels I'm scanning and scanning and I don't I don't see hotels anywhere Maybe it's just me, but I can't see it. If that's the case, that means that that one will be not given. And then finally, return to New Zealand. You see, I'm not going to scan for visitors. It's everywhere. New Zealand is everywhere. This is about come back and return. Quite a difficult scanning word. They can paraphrase that a lot. Uh, I should have probably circled that as well. They like to play with many and most. So put a circle around that as well. There's many visitors, most visitors. Hmm, okay, I don't see anything about return. All right, so those last two might be a bit difficult. So let's anyway, let's start. Uh, the website aims to provide ready-made itineraries and packages. Were they ready-made? That means they were made before. And this says these individuals and organizations can create their own packages to suit their own needs so it's not ready made it's not made by them for you you make it yourself so it's not ready made it's it's customized is the word you make it yourself so that's clearly false most visitors starting by geographical location we're over here Visitors can search for activities not only by geographical, but also by where started. I'm looking for started. And I'm scanning, scanning, scanning. There's nothing there about how did they start. So I don't know if it's most visitors, because actually this is what they focused on. But the, the thing is, this is a not given. So you actually they focused on nothing you, because it's not there. There's nothing about them starting. 26% related to accommodation, and we're over here. Now, now this says transport and accommodation. The question says accommodation only. So it must be false because this must be something. It is part of that 26. This is not zero. 
and therefore accommodation is not all 26. So that must be false. Now I've got two falses. I probably won't have any more falses. They like to become involved in local culture. I guess it's just that. Visitors enjoy culturing, enjoy cultural activities. Nothing really there about local, but of course it's local. That could be close to local. So local is sort of implied in there, but it was just this. Do they like it? Do they enjoy it? Yes, they do. So often when you can't see a, a scanning word, a circle word, often it's in on the verb. So that's true. They like it. Yes. Small hotels, larger ones. I'm convinced we were somewhere maybe here. I don't see hotels. So we don't know anything about the hotels. So it's not given. It's unlikely they will return after their visit. I think most students will get this one wrong. It's quite difficult. You could put a circle on many. You could put a circle on unlikely. Um, the answer is that it is seen as a once in a lifetime visit. So the visitors feel that they're only going to come there once, which means that it is unlikely that they will, that it is unlikely that they will return. Pretty difficult. I was looking for something about likely, unlikely, but it's not there. Once in a lifetime. So that will be true then, especially because we've got Two not givens, two falses, so the lot, you, you, you need another true to make two trues. All right, not too bad. I think maybe four, four out of six there, six out of seven there. So 10 out of 13 is quite possible for this, for this reading. Great, let's move on to reading two.